108s in our program. And now, uh, when we talk about 108s, that's the length of the wrap. Because with the UBC, you're not fighting. You know, there are a lot of different wraps that go around the knuckles and through the thumb. And that's for design. So when you're actually sparring and you hit the guy, you know, with partial of the hand, you can, you know, your hand, your wrist is still protected. But the fact that you're hitting a soft, heavy bag, you really don't need to over wrap. Your main focus is to protect your wrist, not the hand. That's what the gloves are for. So when you wrap your hand, I'm going to do a quick review. Now, one thing I will say, some of you out there uh, might be working at some different uh, kickboxing gyms and the, and the instructors have kind of shown their version of wrapping the hands and they may have the longer wraps. I'm not going to tell you they're wrong because they're not because, you know, more protection is always the best. But if you're just looking to participate in the UBC classes, utilizing the softer freestanding heavy bags, this works just fine. Now, when you do your wrap, you want to make sure that you wrap around your wrist three times. Nice, taut, but not too tight. Two and three. And then you want to come up the top of the hand. And what we're going to end up doing is making an X because our goal is to limit the mobility of the wrist. And from here now, if we made that little line up, we go around the knuckles three times. And when we wrap it around the knuckles three times, we're cutting the wrap in half with our knuckles. In other words, going right down the middle. Also real important here that we're not too tight. If we're too tight, you're going to have to unwrap your hands. So we're going to go around twice and then three times. So, so far, we've gone three times around the wrist, up the top of the hand, three times around the knuckles, and now we're going to finish off that X. So again, by creating that X, a nice X on the top of the hand, I'm limiting the mobility of the wrist. Now, if you have a really large wrist, you may only go around your wrist a couple more times at this point. If you have a small wrist, you're going to want to go two or three times more around your wrist. It depends, and the middle is kind of depending on the size of your hand and your wrist. One thing, if you have to go around a few times, don't bunch it all up here. Go down and work your way back up again, because if you bunch it up here, you're going to have trouble getting your glove on and you're not going to have as much support. So once you've determined how many more times you want to go around your wrist, you are then going to finish off and you're going to turn your palm up and you're going to create that X again and make it a nice clean line. See, I'm not here, it kind of confuses me. It's a very clean line. I only go around the knuckles one more time because again, I'm protecting the wrist, not the knuckles. And again, a nice X and then I finish off around the wrist. Now, if you notice, I've made the mistake where my uh, Velcro is down and you know, I see some people do that and they unwrap their entire hand. If that happens to you, and usually you'll have the on the wrap will say this side down, it'll follow the instructions, but you get distracted and you don't, just turn it. It's not going to make any difference whatsoever. You don't have to completely unwrap your hands and then you always want to again make sure you finish off the wrist. So that's a nice solid. You should feel it taut. You should definitely feel support there, but not too tight. Other things that help preventing injury to the wrist is making sure that when you hit the bag that you have a tight fist. Now, of course, we don't want to be uh, tight because you know tightness doesn't uh, lead to good skills. But when you make contact, that's one time we do want to tighten up and make sure we make a nice clenched fist. Okay, I'm Jim Graydon. I'm at the new MA Fitness Center, the home of the original UBC. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the segment on how to prevent injury from your wrist and making sure that you're utilizing the proper equipment.